At what age should parents give their kids their first spliff? <laughs> like, uh, it's illegal, do you know that? It ain't illegal if your dad gives it to you. <laughs> do you think at least they should teach them how to recognise good gear so they don't get sold by the old No, you should never teach a child that. You'll go to hell for it, in my opinion. You want to end up in your middle years visiting your child in prison where he's beaten and buggered and given drugs his life's finished? I mean, that's just the pits, man. For real, for real, that's the pits. <laughs> As you would say. OK. Let's bring this on. Do you think there's enough teenage pregnancy? <laughs> Too much. But don't you think if it's working down there, then put it to use? If the grass is on the pitch, let's play. <laughs> what is known as the cognitive maturity, to be able to relate cause and effect, for example. How come there's so much teenage pregnancy if English girls is all so frigid? Explain that. <laughs> don't know that they are. I don't know they are. <laughs> well, they are. They've got nothing on the French, because my mate went to Calais and he, <laughs> he slept with three girls, and that was only in a day trip, and one of them was 28. Well, that's just promiscuous, for God's sake. He must have paid them. He didn't pick them up in the supermarket. No, that's he said they fancied him, and one of them was a model. They do it for a living. <laughs>